Hey, welcome my YouTube friends to Scrapping It Up. I am Vanessa, and today in this class, we're going to be decorating our journal book that we made um, the other day that goes along um, with this file folder folio that I taught you how to make. Okay, or you can um, use it as a standalone project. Okay, so it's totally up to you. You can just do it, you know, just have it just like this. And just be a journal itself, or it can go inside um, that file folder, file folder folio that I taught you. And I'll put the links down below to where um, I do the complete walkthrough of it and part one, um, teaching you how to make it. Okay, so I'm just using scraps that are left over from the um, Tranquility collection. These are my scraps that I have. Okay. And this is um, the little um, booklet that we're going to decorate today. And I'll just flip through it real quick. You have a pocket here. Very cute. And then a journaling. And I did use the rub-ons, the laser cuts from the collection. But very cute. And you can decorate it any way that you, you know, you want to decorate it. Okay. All right. So, um, and I did use, I'm going to be using these photo mats. Okay. And different sizes. And I inked them with um, Victorian Velvet and Stormy Sky, okay? And these are oxides. And I just, you know, put it down on a piece of paper and then just inked all around them. But I thought this went really well with this collection. So then you, your photograph would sit, you know, on top of this and it would have a border a blue border or you can just leave them white or you know a pink border so very cute just something different okay something different and I do use 28 pound copy paper for this just to reduce the bulk um, in our album okay so on the inside here I've used a piece of my brown, um, gip, um, the brown wrapping paper. I think I got to cut this down. Let me get a measurement. And this um, probably will be in two parts, probably. All right, so I'm going to go about five and three quarters. Okay, about five and three quarters. Okay, so this is going to be right here. And I should have cut it just a little bit longer. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. Um, don't want to use, yeah, I think I want to use on my score pile tape. Find my quarter inch here. And of course, you can use um, your paper. I just don't hardly have any paper left um, from this from this collection. Okay, so I'm going to use the brown. Then we'll create a pocket. But I hope you'll give this a try. I mean, it's a no-so um, journal book. I'm not calling it a well. I mean, it could be a it could be a junk journal. It could be a journal book. I mean, 
those terms are just um but usually a junk journal is from you know envelopes anything that you find around your craft room um this is made out of you know of course the tranquility collection so it's not really junk no i mean so who knows it's just whatever you want you know you call it okay so i'm gonna put this here and we'll get our pocket made But it's a real easy journal um, to put together. And like I said, it is no sew. So that's, and I know a lot of you do not sew. I have a machine, but I don't drag it out for any of my um, journals. I probably should. Probably should start learning. I mean, I know how to sew. Just doing it, you know, for junk journals is a little bit different okay so let's do our pocket so i think i'm going to go five i have this piece here left so let's do a diagonal pocket let me cut this branding strip off and i think we'll use that that would look cute right there All right, so five inches. I don't know which side to use here. I think I want this side. So I'm going to cut it down to five inches. All right. So this is going to go here. So let's angle this. So I'm going to go about an inch and a half. Make a little tick mark. And then I'm going to go down probably about three inches. Now I'll connect my dots. This will give us an angled pocket. And I'm just going to glue three sides of it, or two sides. I think I'm just going to save that. Never know, might use it. Yeah, I'm just going to glue two sides. All right. So I will ink it. All right. <laughs> so I'm just going to glue two sides Now we have a pocket there. All right. So I have, I um, got these all sorted out. And I may put, ooh, I like that. 
because I, I think I want to do the family on on the front. I like that. All right, now we have some, let's see, do we want to decorate our front cover first? Yeah, let's go ahead and decorate our covers since we have family already there. All right, and this is all the paper that I have. And I think these, I'm going to use these for photo mats in here. And then I have that sheet. I guess one of them will be for the back. I think I'm going to use this for the front. Yeah, let's do. All right. So... I'm going to go five, five and seven eighths by eight and three quarters. Okay, so five and seven eighths. Hmm. That would put most of this. If I went this way, what would that get me? It's five and seven eighths. Now uh, they cut off quite a bit of it. All right, I'm going to cut a strip off. Now let's do my five and seven eighths. See what I get? Yep, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to cut just a little bit off the bottom. And I'm going to go eight, what did I say, eight and three quarters. And then I think I'm going to go eight and seven eighths. Oh, that cuts that off. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, either way, I mean, they're going to cut the butterfly off. Or cut this off. Let's see. Okay, I'm okay with that. I cut the butterfly off. So that's gonna go right there. So I'm gonna get it inked. Oh, and I want to add ribbon to this. So I can't forget to get my ribbon. And I'm just going to use some white, um, kind of like white sheer ribbon. I guess it's cream colored is what it is. All right, so I want it to go all the way around. So to tie, yeah, so 16 inches and then just do 16 inches again, and that should get us, all right. I'm going to go ahead and put this around my album. Try and get it centered. Make sure I've got the same amount of ribbon. 
And that looks pretty good. So what I do, I'm just going to draw a pencil line where I know, and it's not quite in the middle. So let's move it down. All right. That looks better. Okay. So I'm just going to use my quarter inch tape. All right, so now there's my ribbon. So now I can put my cover on. All right, there's that. So I was thinking family. Maybe something like that. I do like that. Just a second. Sorry about that. My phone's ringing. About like that. All right. Never fails. Go to record. Phone rings. Never rings before. <laughs> All right. So there's my front cover. So the back of it. Just going to make sure my ribbon lines up. Just make my little lines again. There we go. Now we have a little ribbon. We can tie it shut. That's cute. Very cute. Okay. And then I'll decide on the back, I think. I maybe might, yeah, I better get the back cover done, because it's got a little bit of sticky, and it's going to be sticking. Alright, so I'm going to use this 
So I'm gonna go six and three eighths. Six and three eighths. And then my eight and seven eighths. Decorating the pages. How exciting. But yeah, if you haven't caught um, my um, file folder folio that I taught, um, taught right here on my channel, you don't need to buy the tutorial. I give you all the measurements during class. You can purchase the tutorial if you would like, but it's not necessary. I give you all the measurements that you need. And I will put the link down below for you. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I always do that. Flip it over. Now it's just. All right, there I go. You just want to make sure you know you cover up your edge of your washi tape, just in case. If you, you know, didn't use the extra glue to glue it down. All right. So the inside, let's use I've got, um, ooh. So we can use that. So I need to cut some of it. So I'm just going to place it here. I'm going to make a little. All right, so I'm going to put some in my trimmer. So I don't want to go and pass this point. I'm going to use that somewhere else. Ooh, maybe on the front. And then I can put some wording there. All right, let's do this. Probably going to wiggle the table quite a bit, so bear with me.
I'm going to start pulling her back. I like that. Now I'm thinking, should we put some of that right there? Kind of sticking out. We might have to do that. All right, so now we have this. I like that. Put it at the very top. All right. I don't know what we'll do there yet. I may just put some small photo mats. All right. So this side. So if that's a photo mat, put these up for a moment. We've got laser cuts here. I think I want to get another photo mat in here. I want to be careful what it looks like when it's, you know, all all closed up. So I think there and there. And put that there. And I really don't want him sticking out there. So if we used a strip of something. Ooh, I like that. That's what we're doing. So I'm just going to line up my strip. Use my pencil and mark it. Now, this is a great way to use up scraps that you have left over. If you, you know, if you made you an album and you have scraps left over it's a great way all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get this glued down you want to, don't want to be too heavy with your glue. Okay. 
So I'm just going to glue. Let's get this photo mat glued. Okay. Jeez, I'm getting glue. Me and glue just don't go along. All right, so I'm going to glue that to where that is not sticking out. So I'm just going to glue the very back. Now this flower here, I'm just going to glue the very edges. Well, I am going to glue them down here. So now I'm just going to find some lettering. Oh, I like that. And glue that. There's our first page so far. Yay! That looks nice. I like that. Okay, so now we're going to flip it over to the next page. So just like that. Now what are we going to do? Probably should have made some more of these photo mounts. Maybe like that. I like that. Okay. So now. I'm looking up here. Let me get this over here so you see what I'm looking at. There's Franz. Ooh, this, this life, lifetime, <laughs> shine. Maybe we need a different color. Let's see if we can. Find just a little bit different color. There's a little. This has all kinds of little bits and bobs on it. Let's get this over. Maybe put this one here. And that way we'd have a little bit of a journaling spot. You want to write. Or maybe. Really don't like those. Those two colors are not. I'm not liking that as well. So 
So maybe that. That. I do like that. No, we need a different color. Maybe life is good. <coughs> Spatial day. Yeah, we'll take these two, two off. Okay, so over here, let's look at our... Um, Cut apart. I'm thinking this rose. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. Now let's use amazing. Okay. You put that there, and then that, that way, you know, you could write in a title date. I'm just going to look at my strips, see if there's anything that catches my eye. I like this. So this one's going to go up underneath here. So I'll just mark where I want to cut it. I may angle it. Not for sure yet. Okay. And then this one. I can cut off about right here. So this one's going to go here. And then that. And this one. I like that. All right. Get our strip down. I think I want to ink it. Ooh, I think I want. I think I want to angle this. Oh, I gotta have my. So this one here. Let's get it angled right. Ooh, maybe that side might be better. <laughs> yeah, I just changed my mind. That was normal. Flip it over and see the back side. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this down. Let's go ahead and get it inked. It's such a 
fun process just you know layering things you're using up your scraps it's a wonderful feels pretty good using up your scraps Get this down. Now, when I do this type of book, um, I try not to put too much in the um, center part, okay? I try to keep that at minimum. I try to stick, kind of stay away if I can. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to take off some of this chipboard. That way it's not so thick. So this side, this inked. Yeah, I, I wouldn't glue it, but and go on to the next page, but I can't flip it if nothing's glued down. Maybe I should kind of start gluing as I go, but then I changed my mind. know me I always change my mind okay now we can put this down let's get this put down All right, so now we can put this down. And I should have not glued the very bottom because now that's going to shorten up your photo frames or shorten up your photo that you put in here. I should have just glued. That was dumb. Okay, again, I'm going to take off some of that chipboard so that we don't need it being that thick. All right, and I'm just going to glue the middle. Now I'm going to grab a heart and put 
a heart in here. I might be nervous taking that chipboard. Oh, it came right off. Yay. So now I'm just going to grab a couple more hearts. I'm just going to grab a blue one. Yeah, anytime in a, in a book like this, if you can take off that extra chipboard. It always helps. All right, there's that page done. Yay. All right. Okay, so the next page. Next page has a pocket. Has a pocket here. So what, I'm, what I do for that. I just have a little journal book I've had for years. <clears throat> you know what I just thought of? Oh my gosh, how come I have... Well, how's that attached? I can repurpose this. OMG. Yeah, just cut that off. And then there's my spine. And there's my album covers. I had never thought about that. That is a wonderful idea. Okay. So let me get a couple of these. Tore out. Yeah, I just buy all kinds of stuff like this. At, you know, dollar store, Walmart. Whenever I see them, I buy them. Because I, I use it for the journaling. But yeah, I never thought about doing that. Oh, I got to do that. Now, that would be recycling. <laughs> All right. So, now, i got to cut some of this off to go inside here. Okay. Does that fit? Oh, yeah. Perfect. So what I'll do here, I'll get my um, um rub-ons. Never stop dreaming. That is so cool. Ooh, about cut that G off. Okay, so I'm going to put that right down here. And I think I'll put up Butterfly. This green one right here.
All right. Aha, there. Pretty, pretty. <coughs> yeah, and this paper is pretty heavy weight. That's a lot thicker than this. I'm not sure what poundage it is, but pretty nice journaling paper. There we go. Ain't that, ain't that pretty? And I just leave it like that. And this goes right inside the pocket. Pretty neat. Okay. So now, let's decorate this side. I don't have no more photo mats colored. Oh, I must have ink on my hand. Of course, I can always go on the back side. All right. So, what color do I want this? I just use paper you know it comes out of these those paper packs and that's what i use let's use let's use the victorian velvet ah crap i am so sorry phone never rings any any other time His ring twice. <laughs> I hope it's not my mother. If it is my mother, I will have to um, get off here. No, nope, it wasn't. laser cuts to 
Ooh, these would be pretty. These right here. If I can get them. Set those aside. It's got some pieces in here. There. So something like that. Do we want to put some wording? I like that. Okay, so now I like that. I'll take the chipboard off that. So here we can leave this blank. We can put paper there set those aside we can do some rub-ons um, there's a frame we'd have to back it with some paper I kind of like that Maybe I've got, look at my scrap pieces here. Maybe I have a piece big enough. Maybe, maybe. Or do we want it to where it, that's not even going to show? We just have the frame showing. Or maybe cut cut around it. We could do that. All right. Yeah, we'll just have a little bit peeking out. Summer. I use the scraps on the other side. All right, let's go ahead and get this. this to go underneath so I'm going to take most of that chipboard off without trying to bend it there we go I hope you're enjoying this process and I like it with the foot the photo frames like this you know if you only want to put your picture halfway and then journal down here I mean the options are you know pretty neat so don't do the or do these two flowers I can do all the bottom Be 
these two flowers. <coughs> All right, now again, I'm going to take off some of this chipboard. without trying to bend it most of the time it comes right off sometimes you got to be pretty careful how you do it because you can bend it well, I've also broke it in two before too <laughs> so you just got to be careful how you do it there got it all right that's going to go there. Do we want to put anything else? Nope, I don't think so. So we'll get this glued. I was looking to see if I had a heart to go there. Here's a pink butterfly. Let's use it. It's in the laser cuts. There. Fabulous. Now, can we use a little piece of wording here? Memories. Does that fit? It does. Let's do it. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so this frame here, I'm just going to glue maybe I don't want any of that frame showing. Yeah, I'm going to cut just an eighth of an inch off of it. There we go. So I'm going to glue. I think I'd rather have it stick come the top wise. So I'm just going to glue the sides. Alright, I'm not going to stick it down yet because I got glue on it. Let me see if I can find a strip of paper. Or, they're not the same size. There's a piece of glue. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's do it. Don't stick that on there. All right. So I'm just going to use my pencil. Oh, 
or we could let's angle I'm going to cut it just a little bit shorter and I'm going to notch the end of it Just, you know, something different. There we go. All right. Ooh. I always flip it over. Yeah, I like this side. Okay. Just like that. Oh, I got it upside down. Yeah. Good thing I noticed that. I guess really there's not a right or wrong to it. All right, now I'll glue my frame down. And do I want. I'm looking at my embellishments. I'm not seeing anything that fits my fancy. Now, nope, nope, I'm not seeing nothing. Not seeing anything. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue her down. So I'm just going to put my finger here, and I can't glue past there. Just make sure you don't, you know, glue, don't glue your pocket shut. Okay, so now I see these pink, two little pink flowers in my laser cuts. Might as well grab three. It's always better to have three than two. Three is more eye-pleasing. I don't always try and follow it, but sometimes I do. All right. Sometimes you just can't get three, three in it. All right, there's that page. All right, I have an idea I want to try. Let's see, the next page is a full page. Wow. We're doing pretty good. Okay. So I want to try this. I don't know if it'll work or not. Um, I'm going to get a piece of my 28 pound copy paper. And I just buy mine at Walmart. Okay. I use it for photo mats. Um, I make um, junk journals, you know, with signatures out of it. Okay, so is that piece of paper? It's a little bit. All right, so my idea is I'm going to fold this in half. Don't try this at home. <laughs> uh, 
until I know it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to try and draw a heart. And like I said, I don't know if this is going to work, but I want to try it. Now I'm just going to cut around it. Now I'll show you my idea here. I'm trying to stay on the inside of my pencil lines so I don't have to erase. Use this as a flippable. I think we'll cut it down the middle. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my scoreboard. I'm going to score. I don't know if I want to do, I think I'm only going to do three eighths of an inch. I don't think I want to do half an inch. Yeah, and that's okay. I'm going to put this on my six inch line. And one, two, three. Okay. So that's that side of the heart. So now this side of the heart. Then I'm a six inch line and score at three eighths. Yeah, I think a uh, half an inch would be too much. Take away quite a bit of the heart. I want these to have photo mats on them. So now I'm just going to fold towards the bumpy side and burnish. Okay. And this is the one exception of I am going to put it in the fold. Normally, you know, I say don't put anything in the fold line, but I think this will be okay. So I'm going to cut this extra off here. Okay. Does it still meet up nice and make a nice heart? Yes. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is see, I'll need a clean piece of paper. Let's see if I can find one. All right, I found one. Yeah, I save these, and I use them to ink on, stamp, you know, test a stamp. Okay, do I want, I think I want blue, or do I want the pink? I think I want the pink. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of go around it. This is turning out pretty cool. Now, now you have a place for a photograph on both sides. All right. So now I want to put washi tape. I have some. Um, this washi tape went with the collection. And I find the end. So I think by just doing 
that. Okay, so I'll do one. I'm going to put it on my grid here so I can keep it straight. Okay, now I'm going to put this one here. Okay, so this one here, I'll just fold it under and then cut off any extra. This one here, I'm just going to trim it just where my heart is. Because you don't want to, if you took it around to the back side, then it would show. Oh, and I didn't ink the back side. So you can ink the back side, which I probably should. Yeah, let's ink the back sides. Be careful. All right, there we go. Well, oh, that one's done just a little bit more. All right. Now, you can put washi tape on the edge of this. Um, I'm not going to. It's 28 pound, and it should be just fine. So, now, you're just going to tape these. And I'm, I'm not going to go right in the middle. I'm going to go about an eighth of an inch um, from the middle of the, the fold. Okay. I'm just going to apply my glue. Do I want them down or in the center? Yeah, I'll put it in the center. About eighth of an inch away. Sorry about that, guys. Now my husband's up. He can <laughs> take care of the phone. <laughs> so I'm going to try and line this one up with the other one. Perfect. Then you have so now you have a little flip and you can put photographs on it.
and that's sweet. I love it. All right, I think this might be a good place to end um, this class. So we got one, two, yeah, one more class, and then um, we can be done with this project. So I hope you um, you enjoyed this process. Um, I'll put the link um, to part two when I get it done. Okay. All right. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I hope um, you enjoyed the process and uh, we'll be seeing you in the next video. All right. As always, keep scrapping. Bye-bye.